Hey there, little girl. You want to go say good morning to the chickens? Let's go say good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Lake Life Family Channel. It's been a quick minute, but trust me, there's been a ton going on here at the household, including brand new yard and brand new structure built by yours truly, the Rackley Roost. Ooh. It is complete. It looks so good. Thank you, babe. I know. Thank you. All right, Emmy, go on in there. So not only do we have the run complete, we also have our brand new hens. Yes, I know. She's like, I want to get you. Emmy likes to chase them around. Get you. You think you can catch that chicken? And we actually already. We've only had these chickens for a few days. We've already got our first egg. We'll show it to you here in a little bit. We're going to, we're going to go on a nature walk this morning. Explore nature. Amy is getting uh, to where she can walk around with us. And she loves to explore things, obviously, as you guys can tell. Rocks, sticks, any sort of animal, creature. She is all about it. Hey, what are you going to do, sweetheart? You going to wrangle them in? If y'all are curious about these chickens, now we got them grown they're five and a half months old uh, one of them is laying already obviously and they are a uh, a red sex length chicken so that basically means they're just a hybrid i think they're uh like a, a rhode island red uh mix oh, oh don't eat that amy that's theirs those maybe. were your apples but now they're their apples because you didn't want to finish yours so i think amy is going to really enjoy these as little pet additions and we got plenty of room so we're going to be adding more i think we're going to be adding some silkies some silkies if you've ever seen a silky chicken very entertaining just to look at are those like the, the furry ones those are the furry ones they have furry heads uh i've been i've been on a chicken um what would you call it tangent lately i mean just with the You're building like of all of this listen to my ideas honey okay i know i've been giving them to you a lot lately but so we have this post in the center now i'm thinking we can either have some like posts that come out here kind of like a little tree for them to perch on or they can be little uh little garden pot holders can have hanging herbs oh, coming down i like the pot holder idea i like the pot holders cascading herbs yes. and then like over here you can do more of like little ladder pegs for them to roost on. yeah i could do like you know a couple of little Yay. roosting stations look at that they're already getting in there so was this you that scraped all this stuff up or this is a hundred percent them after a few days they have just completely scraped up like every leaf in here they've been eating all the bugs and so the plan is once they really tear up the inside of this and you know probably like every month or every couple months we're going to just bring in more leaves. We have an abundance of leaves abundance here. Abundance is an understatement. <laughs> and then take these leaves that they've thrashed up, shredded up, and basically turned into mulch, and then use that, basically like toss it out in a uh, mulch pile or use it in the garden or something like that. So sustainably farmed, I guess you could say. Sustainably farmed um, chickens, resources. That's what we're doing out here. The watering system right now is just on a bucket. Uh, little nipples on a bucket but we also have the option of hanging them from this big post that comes down the middle there's just a lot to play around with we're just waiting on our big coop that's going to come in here it's going to be about this high and what's going on over there you see a I'm sasquatch just, i'm or? just enjoying like i'm really impressed <laughs> thank you <laughs> like every time i turn around i'm like wow that's that's some yeah, it's, i mean it's you know structurally it's pretty decent the the trees getting around the trees was pretty tough i'm sure yeah you did great but um these these last couple panels are actually not attached so we can remove these they're just clamped on for now there's one little opening that the fox could get into but i think it'll take him a while to figure that out and you've got you know rocks underneath to where nothing can dig over there yeah yeah so. i've got rocks underneath if that doesn't hold up which i i mean it'd have to be a super fox to get underneath there we got bobcat protection from on top but if they start burrowing and can get underneath that then i'll i'll just run chicken wire or some of this green wire underneath the stones and then it'll be it'll just be the penitentiary it'll be predator proof ready to get on those trails i'm ready to get on the trails babe let's go on a little trail walk girl, let's see what animals see what creatures see what discoveries we can make out in the woods Explorers. 
but she loves it so much. We were down here last weekend and she looked like she was like in heaven. Actually down by the lake there's a lot of fossils. Yeah, and driftwood. Yeah, there's prehistoric fossils. I think she's going to, well she already will, love going down there collecting those. But as she gets a little older she understands what fossils are when she starts getting into school and discovering dinosaurs and stuff like that. It'd be pretty cool. Going around the water. Oh, but I gotta get in there, I gotta get in there. Taking the path less traveled. That's my girl. Hogs, little hogs. Probably perfect little eaters. 50 to 75 pounders, probably. They always like to hang in this area. I was walking down here one morning and there was a boar. The same boar I think I've seen in our yard on the trail cams. He was just standing there eating. It was like this time of day. I was like, whoa. What do you think, Emmy? This is your backyard. Going straight to the water. Straight to the water. And she really would just walk straight into the water if we let her. <laughs> She'd keep going. Yeah, let's stop right here. You can look. Don't touch. It's very cold. It. Water. Ooh. That's where the fishies live. I got them. You did it. We both got our sticks, Emmy. Did you get a stick, Emmy? Daddy got a stick. What are you doing with that stick? You jealous? I'm thinking our chickens need a few more perches. They have one on the ground, but. It's not, it's not very high off the ground. I don't think they like it because it's just too low. So I think we're going to grab some sweet driftwood and uh, put these uh, up as higher perches. Come on. Let's go. We're leaving. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Don't get too close to the water. The carp will suck you up. <laughs> Wise tail, so the water. I figured out a trick to get her to come. She's so stubborn when she doesn't want to come. But if you say bye-bye, she's like, oh, no, are you going to leave me? So you say bye-bye, and she goes, bye-bye. Papa, are we leaving? I got a better one. <laughs> Thanks, big. Why don't you get dry ones, you nut? Shopping with OSG. What are you? What are you getting? What is this for the purpose of these little sticks? Oh, well, I like to fill them with like fill them in jars and other decorative pieces. So it kind of brings like the outdoors in. You can buy driftwood in the stores, and for some reason they're super can, expensive. Are you serious? Yes, you buy drift, driftwood. We're sitting in the stores. on a gold mine. I know. Here. Maybe we can like open up our own um, <laughs> shop and sell driftwood. Wood and things. Anyways, look at this analogy. one. This one's pretty cool. Bargain shopper. For Free sure. driftwood. We will not tell anybody our secret stash. Well, what did you find, little one? Did you find a bottle cap? <sighs> Just got back. I had a minor freak out because. I only saw two of the hens in here and they were inside of their coop, which is weird. You're okay, you're okay. One of them was up in the, the hen house, so I'm thinking she might have laid. Let's just looped it up and see here. Let's see if we got any eggs. Oh, interesting. I don't know what they were doing up there, just taking a nap, I guess. I think the plan is now, this is actually, this is today's Valentine's Day continued. I am taking care of Emmy uh, the remainder of the day. <gasps> For a full day! Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's ever been done. done. I told him, you know, in the morning, I just want to spend the morning time together, all three of us, because that doesn't really happen too often. Let's go on a little nature walk and then get some plants at the nursery. I feel like I'm such like a mom. Oh, I was about to say, like we, we're spending our day picking up sticks, <laughs> taking care of chickens. And uh, going to get some getting plants. shrubs, getting shrubs. Uh, you know, yes. Subscribe so you don't miss all the excitement coming up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Emmy girl, are you ready to go to the nursery? <laughs> okay. All right, I think we got enough. Let's go check out. We're finally down for a nap, y'all. And I hear the clucking. Look at this cat. Can you see the cat? 
Look at this cat. It's the same cat that came into the house the other day. The girls are freaked out. This is exactly why I had to build this penitentiary, penitentiary for these chickens. And this, that crack up there still scares me, but we were both like, she was asleep and I was falling asleep. And then I just hear this And uh, sorry, I mean, I had to wake you up, but the girls, they needed our help. I can't put you down, but I think, I think we have a surprise in here. I already checked earlier to see if we had any eggs. And I saw the hens stay in here for a while. So I'm assuming that at least one of them dropped an egg. OSG has gone to the spa. We have gone to the birds. Chaos has ensued. It's wild, y'all. When, when she leaves, I don't, I don't know what to do with myself. Okay, let's put you guys right there. Look at this, y'all. Look at that. Be very gentle, I mean, no, 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 no. Can't grab it. Gotta be very gentle. Let's put it, um, oh my gosh. What a predicament. All right, I'm gonna put the egg in my little pouch right here. I'm gonna grab you all. Whew. Whew, we can do this, Emmy. Wow, this is, I know the pain. I know how OSG feels. This is very, very difficult with a toddler on your hip. Let's go back inside. Nap time has been disturbed. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, y'all. Craziness. We still have many hours without our beloved OSG, so. Oh. This is our second egg that we have. I think I'm gonna build a custom egg holder. The first night I brought them home and it was really cold, I put them in a, a kennel with some wood chips because it was like 25 degrees, and I found that one. This is the first one inside of the laying box. I swear that cat looks just like a bobcat. And it was just crouched down. It looked like it was ready to kill. Apparently a neighborhood cat. I'm glad that it eats the mice and all that stuff, but need to stay away from my chickens, old meow meow. Old dad has just got a household of girls. We got hens, we got little girls here, we got mommy. Dad gets protective of his hens. So, dad doesn't necessarily know how to make dinner for this little one right here. So, what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna, well, I know at five o'clock she starts screaming for food. It is 423 right now. We're gonna go ahead and hit up the, uh, the Whole Foods Market. Um, they have food already made there, which is great for dads and uh, parents in general. It's sort of like a punt, you know. You gotta pay a little extra, but what you get is peace of mind. Like, there's entertainment value that's happening. She's walking around looking at things. And then there's mac and cheese, simple things that kids can eat. And let's be honest, who doesn't like to eat like a kid? Let's go. Let's go. I got something else to show the lake lifers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Okay, here. Here's Olaf. This is your favorite. Olaf, yep. I'm starting to understand her language. We're gonna just take our time. Yeah, we don't need to run. Pretty good at the stairs, honestly. Just need a little hand. I gotta show y'all something that one of you sent in. Stephanie knows she keeps all the letters. So please put this person's information on, on the screen or something. Because it's so cool. I've never seen this. But it's a lighted box. Look at this. This is textured. I know this looks like a photograph, but it's not. It's um, 3D printed. So like if you change the angle of that. You see how we're all like shape shifting and stuff? It's a box of wood. It's a wooden box with a light inside. And then this is like a plastic. And look at that. Look, look how cool that is. We're just gonna go barefoot, okay? Put, put your foot in there. Very good dexterity, my love. Very good. You have very good balance because you walk on bare feet at the tree house all the time. Yep, we're gonna take a ride in the Chevy, babe. Somehow, somehow we're getting it done. Hey, Mom. Look at this well balanced. You got strawberries, squash, kind of ignoring the squash right now. 
blueberries. I'm not really sure what that thing is, but it's pretty big. Mom would be very proud. And then over here, mac and cheese, pizza. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are home. OSG, gosh dang, trooper on the daily. That was an adventure, taking Emmy along. She is, uh, she's just into everything. Like you can't take her eye, take your eyes off of her for two seconds, because she's gonna pick up a rock and eat it, or grab a wasp or a snake, or you know, <laughs> she's just no, no, no. Oh my God, spit that out, spit that out. You see what I'm talking about? We're ready for our beautiful, amazing mama to come home, so I can restore my sanity. I survived. Give me the t-shirt, write it up right now. No assistance I'm for six hours. Maybe, maybe more. No, it was not six hours. It felt like 12, <laughs> sorry. It got a little crazy, babe, got a little crazy. Okay. We had a cat come in. We got our first nesting box egg. Man, I missed so much. We went to Whole Foods and you know, we attempted to eat, but oh. you look like refreshed and glowing, Do so I that's look good. Like I'm just, yeah, just stepped out of a nice sauna bath. I'm nothing, so proud. Nothing happened. I did it all by myself. Yes. Alrighty, folks. Big things happen today. Go ahead and smash that like button because it's your only communication here. But we thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, if you if you like the chicken stuff, I wish you could let us know in the comments. But I, I hope you do because there's a lot more coming. We're hoping to get our first like dozen of eggs this week and uh, get the first crack. Until then, God bless you. We'll see you right back here at the treehouse on the next one.